This video is brought to you by Squarespace. Stay tuned to know more. So for the past few days I have been a little bit sick and I haven't been too productive. I have not really made anything new and I have not recorded anything. But today I am feeling a lot better and I am starting my day by unboxing some cute things. This is a package from one of my very good online friends Sonia and I will just assume that this is my early advanced birthday gift. Unboxing cute things kind of heals my inner child in some way because as a kid I always liked cute stuffs and cute stationeries but of course I did not have money back then I was a broke student don't get me wrong I am still broke but being able to invest on the things that makes my inner child happy is just such a healing experience. I am touching clay after like 2-3 days and so I thought I will be making a new character today just to refresh myself. Honestly, it did not turn out the way I wanted but I still am really happy that I made a new design after a really long time and it really gave me ideas that I want to make in future. One of the main things that stops me from making new things and trying new techniques or just basically doing anything out of my comfort zone is the fear that it's not going to turn out the way I would want it to be but it also is very important to survive as a creative so i definitely try that every once in a while i can make a new design go out of my comfort zone and try a new medium and it's really helpful in developing your creative journey and who knows you might even have a new hobby a new favorite technique a new favorite character so many possibilities so it's very important that you try out new things and just take small little steps towards something that you think you will find interesting This is how the bunny finally turned out and I'm not sure if I like it or not but I think with a few little changes it will look really cute. As you guys might see that I tried making this boba cup but it did not turn out that well but this one that I made just now for a commission that I'm making I think this one turned out a lot better. So for a few days I have been noticing that my art has been stolen. I'm not talking about people who are inspired but some people just screenshot my pictures and upload them on their website. So as I'm working on my own website I made sure that I add watermark. Talking about website I remember that in 2022 I actually thought of starting my own website but then I 
quickly abandoned the idea realizing that it's such a complicated and overwhelming process. But this year, I'm finally able to make my own dream website using Squarespace. Look, making up a whole website all by yourself is not an easy process and that's why Squarespace provides you with hundreds of pre-designed templates and even divides them into different genres in case you want some inspiration. Once I chose a template, all I needed to do was update the text and the images and through their Fluid Engine feature, I was just able to drag and drop the images and the text anywhere I wanted and my website was ready within 2 hours and you can get a free trial by visiting squarespace.com and then when you are ready to launch your own site, head over to squarespace.com slash sugar cafe charms and use code sugar cafe charms to get 10% off on your first purchase of a domain or a website that's code sugar cafe charms to get 10% off on your first purchase of a domain or a website and thank you so much squarespace for sponsoring today's video and supporting my business so i'm adding this tiny little watermarks and i'm not sure if it is visible on camera or not because i did not want them to be too big and ruin the aesthetic of my picture but after adding those watermarks i am just adding some text and editing some of my pictures to put on my website and mostly i like to keep my pictures fairly simple even for my instagram i just do some mild changes to fit it into the aesthetic of my account I made this frog meme cats maybe like two months ago and till now this is one of my favorite design to make and so I shot a small little process video. I hope you enjoy. One of my favorite things is collaborating with different artists. So when Ray contacted me for a collaboration, I was just so, so excited. So Ray Pinsto has an original character called Mimi and she wanted to give Mimi some friends. So she had the idea of taking some of my OCs and turning them into plushies along with the Mimi plushie. And these are just some inspiration pictures that we have saved up. I'm trying to decide three designs that I want to send her. I do make a lot of fan arts, but for this I just want to send some of my OCs. After discussing it for a while with my sister and Ray, we decided to go with these three characters. The first one will be this little bear, but the cookies will not be there. The second one will be this cat that I recently made and I think it will look really really cute as a plushie. And finally we have this little dog, this is a golden retriever that I made. And also this was one of my most popular design last year. So I am forwarding all these images to Ray right now and we will just have some basic discussions. 
as you can tell from this message i just left everything on ray's hand and i just gave her full freedom on however she wanted to make them and she is so talented like look at this cat here is the dog and these are just some basic sketches that she will then be sending to her manufacturer and this one might be my favorite this is the little bear but which of these did you like the most please let me know in the comments So I am getting a little bit tired right now. It's almost evening and I just want something which is relaxing and does not need a lot of brain power. So I decided that I would just glaze some charms and call it a day. I am really happy that today I was finally able to do a lot of the work that I have been procrastinating for a really long time. And so yeah, it was a pretty productive day today. As I said in the beginning that I was a little sick for the past couple of days. So I really wanted to record all the things that I'm doing today just to keep it as a record and as a memory and I'm happy that it turned out to be a pretty productive day.